What's up guys? This episode we're diving into improving our map searching by using Elasticsearch as our backend for this. So this is going to require us to spin up an Elasticsearch instance that runs separate from our Rails app. So if you're on Heroku or on your own server, you're going to need to add Elasticsearch to that so that you can index all of your records and their locations to Elasticsearch. But Elasticsearch has really, really good and robust uh, geo search. So we're going to be using that and just configuring our Rails app to talk to that using the search kick gem. And that's going to give us far better results than what we see so far. So one of those problems that I've seen is that when we draw this map and we use the geo coder gem to do a radius search in this bounding box, when we go to some of these pages, you will see here we get five results. One's kind of hidden up there at the top. But if we go to the next page, there's another one hidden at the top, but where's the fifth one? I only count four. And the reason for that is because anytime you have a rectangle or a square and you draw a circle around it, um, the circle is going to cover more area on those um, edges. And so that is not going to be visible on the map, but it could show up in our results which is kind of problematic because that means that our map doesn't actually match up to our search results. So, you know, you could try to figure out how to calculate a smaller radius search that only is the radius um, inside of this rectangle. Find the shortest side and all of that stuff from the center. You could do all that work, but we could also just go to Elasticsearch and have it take care of all of that for us. Um, and so that's what we're going to do in this episode. And then next one, we're going to Ajaxify all of this to make it really slick and automatic. So when you drag this around, you don't have to click redo search in this area. We can trigger that automatically using Google Maps.